so this is my first time actually doing a facial i've been wanting to for some time now but ooh, pandemic a joke it's a life proof <laughs> of a before and after Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna take you guys on a vlog today. Before I dive in, don't forget to hit that sub, like, and bell button so that whenever we upload, you're the first to be notified. Yes, so I'm going by Sculpt by Mo today to see the esthetician. I'm going to do a derma planning full facial. So I'm suffering from blackheads and all that. And whenever I try to like extract it, I bruise myself. If you'd notice, there's black spots on my nose. Because every time I use a blackhead tool there, it happened so I'm going to see if she'll be doing some form of magic today I'm gonna take you guys on that and we'll see the process this is my first time doing a derma planning actually I did some form of research and yeah I saw that persons were comparing it to like shaving your face but this time it's actually being done by a professional with a scalpel you know so I'm kind of nervous ish because so I want to see if they'll be able to sort my face out without it being bruised so let's go So guys, I'm here with the esthetician Monique and she's basically going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing today. Alright guys, so today Carla will be doing a derma cleaning facial where we use a scalpel knife to get rid of all dead skin cells, um, the tiny hairs on your face which is also called peach fuzz. Um, it also includes uh, did I say cleanse, moisturize, um, extraction, masking, um, yeah, and scrub. So after she will leave glowing. Alrighty, can't wait. <laughs> So we're trying to just finish. Um, okay. Derma thing. Okay, the one mm. extraction. Mm. Not much extract skills, so really? Yeah. And then some fill up like it out on the nose. The poor is in from face natural or a blackhead? Yeah, Melo, the one from my nose. I'm supposed to block it. Because my nose is black headed and I try to get them out, but they now come out. I'm just like cut up myself. I feel like it's a farm hole, so I said I need to get rid of it. I block it too, but I don't know. I'm not going use it. So I said, You can't use it. I don't do nothing to my nose. I mean, I must use it wrong. God. Mm.
So this is all the skin peach fuzz dirt. You be getting it on time my nose? Mm-hmm. Are you sitting over there? The part that when my black black up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. The mid things get rid of the honor. Uh, what I just gave you, I see how this one is. That's all the pores I'm eating you now. It's <laughs> like if I only a breathe. <laughs> It feels good, I swear to God. <laughs> This does the even um, skin tone. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't have much discoloration. Mm -mm. It's just where you know, me do the extraction, mm -hmm. so it kind of red. Okay. So I try to get it back to how it was. So, you that people my dark skin, but the skin still <laughs> red up. <laughs> so, you know, shine and dice now. Mm hmm. I know my oily skin, I go pop. <laughs> It's going to be on my face for five minutes. It's kind of burning, that's really bad. But it's feeling good so far. I'm not telling no lie. And she was really gentle with my face. Because when me try to extract it myself, as on a could I see, it was black up on everything. But the extraction, the painful. However, she was handling my face really well. <laughs> and I'm just doing a facial more often. Nice, such good skin. <laughs> <laughs> skin's supposed to love me after this. <laughs> so often this should be done. Alright, so your skin turns over every 32 days so you can do a facial every month or every six weeks okay so you see for the redness of that you know that red no more mm -hmm. So you recommend stuff the person use on their faces? Mm -hmm. You recommend stuff the person use on their faces? Yeah, like if you have eye for pigmentation, I sell um, acne medication. Mm -hmm. I have a 5% benzoyl peroxide and I also have 10%. So if you know you start using the 5% and you realize your skin getting used to it or whatever, you can fix it. In. 10%. Also recommend moisturizing SPF. You would recommend for my face, like how you see it now, as well as my oily skin. Alright, you can you can try the benzoyl peroxide to help with the hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. You won't worry about you don't have to worry about um 
getting oily after you apply it because mm -hmm. it basically dries out the skin oh. uh, so you won't feel oily and you can always moisturize with Cetaphil or Avino I'm going to show them something <laughs> ah, I think you can get a Cetaphil for like 1500 or 2000 oh. and you can get the benzoyl peroxide another 2000 which is basically 1850. Oh. Yeah, so. And you know your SPF, you can get that the same. Oh, so you sell person. them or? Yeah, I sell them. <laughs> One of my friends did tell me, so I need to use something for my face. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so comes when you end up by something oh. for you. Come never did I use that pump face because it's oily, so by sun come out. Yeah. Mina. Yeah. Mm. What are they still doing now? Alright, uh, this is puffy scrub. Oh. Yeah, that glow after. Mm. I love cup cleaner, so I'm going to waste it. Alright, so. We don't need a lot because you say you have oily skin. Yeah. So, oh, it makes me feel oily? Well, yeah, but you know, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to wipe it off after we finish okay. scrubbing. So, it's not going to leave a lot of oil on your face. For me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. sure not to win charge to this, you know. Next yeah. time, next time, sure win charge to this. Next time, she gets to show you each my pen. <laughs> So they said the last step. Mm -hmm. My experience here was amazing. Tell them where they can find you, man. Okay, so we are all in our shopping complex just before you reach Maven Hospital on the right hand side. All right, and sure you guys come and your face. <laughs> so today, as in this day, the 20th, actually marks the fourth week since I've done my derma planning full facial guys the experience was wonderful it was amazing my face has never felt so clean before the fact that she got rid of all the dead um skin cells the dirt and all of that you see when i wash my face listen listen right after the treatment because if you notice, we were talking about products I should get and all of that. I purchased this from her. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it. Because she was out of the other products. She was out of stock. Read the other products that she was recommending. But this is the Oxy Acne Medication Rapid Spot Treatment. Listen, this does this does wonders. If you notice, my nose isn't um as dark as it was when I just went there because of the spot that I caused trying to extract blackhead myself don't do that <laughs> so this is really good it's been working for my spots so if i can compare my face i'll compare for you guys to see what i did after was to do some consultation with a friend of mine that is all about skincare um chanel xo you guys can check her out on youtube 
uh, she recommended that I should avoid using some products that contain a certain acid. I can't pronounce it, so I'm going to put it somewhere so, so you guys can see the acid I'm talking about. And she ensures to tell me that, listen, you need to moisturize, moisturize. Because what I did, um, what I noticed rather, I think it was two days after my derma planning, I realized, say, my skin start, you know, fear strip. Mostly like the, this area. And it was because I was not using a moisturizer at the time. So I had this moisturizer from Earth Elements. But it wasn't the right one i should be using on my face so she recommended that i get moisturizing products that in that contains spf so i purchased this neutrogena this neutrogena healthy defense daily moisturizer with sunscreen um it has the spf in this is 50. listen i love this i spent about like two thousand dollar two thousand something for this in a pharmacy and she also recommended i get an oil get an oil so i got this jojoba oil and i have oily skin so this oil is definitely for me <laughs> i currently have it on my face as well so these are the products i've been using your, your time mint <laughs> what the hell these are the products i've been using right after my derma planning treatment just keeping my skin moisturized because my skin is raw i got the consultation and i just been using these but as i said it has been like four weeks now so i'm back to using my exfoliating products and all of that but guys if you can tell and see how my face is looking beautiful i'll definitely recommend you guys to get a derma planning so i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> So this is a life proof <laughs> of a before and after so you can see the difference with her skin and my skin mm -hmm. derma planning skin the derma glow and the dead skin cells and all that going in over here kind of jealous now looking at her face she look better than me now her face Period. cleaner than me <laughs> but yeah so she's <laughs> definitely going to get her derma planning done soon and if you want your yeah. face to look like mine you should get yours done as well <laughs> thank you for watching don't forget to follow me on all socials at carizy underscore baby you can follow sharona at sharizy underscore baby and our team page at atkins twin so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so until next time bye <laughs>